Online columnist Alan Rowland joins us now from Sonoma, California, to discuss the recent report on the uh, U.S. Uh, rights violations. Mr. Rowland, what does this recent report entail about the outlook of the U.S. rights record uh, for a country that considers itself the leader of the free world? Uh, this is indeed shocking, as your, one of your previous uh, people that you interviewed said. It's, a, it's just totally shocking that we have perhaps 2.3 million people incarcerated, uh, many of them blacks. We have the world's largest incarcerated population. But the real truth of the matter is we have a prison industrial complex that's been going on for years, busy building prisons. But so what's the reason, you might ask? What's the reason for this? It's because the, how should I put it, the military-industrial complex and the, the uh, establishment, they're not afraid of terrorists. They're afraid of the people armed with the truth. And now we have FEMA camps being set up all over the United States just in case the Occupy movement gets any stronger. This is indeed, indeed a very unsettling time. And last year, 300,000 immigrants detained and no regress for torture. That, by the way, that's torture also in our prison systems. So, yes, this is very shocking, and it is, this is one of the truths that should be brought to the public's knowledge and the world's knowledge this coming year. Mr. Rowland, how should this report... Uh which in fact is not the first to highlight blatant rights violations in the U.S., both domestically and internationally, be regarded by the international community. They should be shocked, too. But it's not news to them. It's news to the American people. Most of, the, most, most of Europe knows this. It's we, the United States, that's been bamboozled about our own abuses of power, including, our, the, including the incarcerated people in our prisons. It's the United States that needs to be, uh, uh, needs to have, have this come to the surface and be seen. The, the, the rest of the world knows this. All right, many thanks. Uh, Alan Rowland, online columnist from Sonoma, California. Thank you for your time.